Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are back once again and we are ready to go out and kill the hag. I'm a little worried about this one. I've heard this is probably one of the harder um, endgame bosses and I've put together a team that I think is pretty well equipped. The only thing that I'm worried about really is some maximum HP issues, but I think mostly these guys should be pretty good to go. Uh, everyone's got moves that are going to be able to strike people out of the pot. We've got Arik here, who's set up with extra damage and then extra dodge for that 60 total dodge, which is going to be mental. Uh, Dismas here, uh, kind of took him as a pick to play along with Arik, as he's going to be moving forward with this, and he's going to be moving forward with this, and then we can use point blank shot. Should be a pretty good combo. Then we've got uh, Barbara here as our Vestal coming in with the major healing and the last light. And then Sixth. Honestly, Sixth doesn't work in this comp as well as I'd like him to, but he has to come along. This is this is his quest. This is something that he needs to be here for. So we're bringing out Sixth for this. Um, we do have one backstory to get into. No Darius today, but we do have one backstory for Lumen. We've had this Illuminator for quite a little while now. We finally got a backstory from, ah yes, this guy again. Uh, pretty excited to get into this one, so I hope you guys enjoy this. After helping the heroes that just came back from the expedition, I went back to the abbey when I noticed something strange. All of the candles were gone, not a single trace of them. When I, uh, when I was about to alert the others, I heard a loud thud coming from the abbey's basement. I quickly rushed down there and the locks on the doors were smashed. I carefully opened the door and there I saw an unconscious, lay, um, an uncon uh, an Annie, sorry, unconscious, laying on the floor with an odd looking book in her hand and a man made of what seemed like candle wax. He covered himself with a curtain that was in the room and unsheathed his sword and he hit me, uh, hit me with the uh, pummel of his weapon and then I lost consciousness. After I got back to my senses, there was, there was a word, Lumen, written on the wall with blood, but I didn't have time to worry about that. I quickly, uh, quickly I put Annie on my shoulder and took her to the sanitarium. I don't understand what she was trying to do, but it must have backfired because I left her with it left her with many scars on her face. I can only pray for her well-being uh, now and hope that whatever that thing is doesn't harm anyone else. And that's written by Barbara. So it's actually Barbara here who are bringing the first witnessed Lumen's creation and Lumen's creation by Annie. So that's a very interesting backstory. I'm excited to get into using that class, but. First of all, we're going to jump on in. Um, we're getting this for the Librarian. Uh, honestly, the Trinkets don't really matter too much. We're just going for the kill. Like I said, I am worried about this a little bit. We are going to make sure all of our skills are, um, are leveled up. I am a little bit worried about this. This is definitely one of the harder boss fights we're going for. So we're going to make sure we're fully ready and fully prepared. Like I said, my only main like concerns really uh we go boom boom yeah my only major concerns really lie in um one two three uh the fact that we are currently do you know what i'm just gonna go, go with them all uh we are currently going in with only level fives not level sixes and some people do have slightly lower maximum hp uh, I thought of maybe giving this guy some prop but then i thought why not just buff his dodge up really high dismiss i'm and maybe, do you know what? I was going to, like, the Elizabeth had something interesting, but let's just be safe. Let's just be safe. Let's just give him a lot of pro. I, I don't know, actually, though. I've, I've done that now, and now I kind of regret it, because he's already got 43 HP. He's not one of the, he's not one of the guys that's actually requiring it so much. But the good thing is this whole, this whole build, we've got 44, 32, 44, 44, and 37. But uh, this is the only one that I'm really... Any any sort of worried about. I might give you some prot. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I'm hoping so. I really want to just try and go for a high damage build and just see if we can get something. Wait, went to the wrong mission there. Um, just get something going. Let's get ready to go. Uh, we're taking all of our food, all of our shovels. We're gonna take five of these, five of these, six of them, five of them, and five of them, and then all of our torches. Okay, so ready to go. Let's jump on in and see just how this ends up going. I'm I'm hopeful. The great but thing I had managed where? to bring through was brutish and stupid. Moreover, it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. 
Made a mistake. This was only a trifling concern. I made a mistake. All, I had a Fuck. full of it. Fuck! I made a big mistake. Shit! This is the wrong boss. This is the wrong boss. No. A nameless abomination. We can't do this, boss. To my we have to just. We have to just leave. These guys aren't prepped for this. Great adversity has a beauty. It is the fire that tempers. Oh my God! Does that does that do anything bad? I'm hoping not. Okay, we got a little bit of stress on everyone, but that's okay. Oh my God! I crapped myself. Oh, that was almost real bad. And I know that these guys have just taken on a bit more stress than they than they definitely should. Jumping into a quest, we definitely don't want 20 stress on everyone. But I'm still gonna stick with this group. That my heart actually dropped then. Oh my god, my heart actually dropped. Oh my god. We probably just lost a bunch of money as well. That was so stupid. That's the first time I've done that though. It's the first time I've done that. So give me some give me some Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. It's, it wasn't even that bad of a problem. It's just it's it shook me. Either way, let's actually go and do the proper one this time. On, her oh wild my god. Policy of self-experimentation grew intolerable. She quaffed all manner of strange fungi, herbs, and concoctions. Intent on gaining some insight into the horror we both knew to be growing beneath us. The change in her was appalling, and no longer able to stomach it, I sent her to live in the weald, where her wildness would be welcomed. Indeed. It's time for her to be taken down. Like I said, I'm a little worried about that extra 20 stress everyone now has. In the wild but eruption here. let's see. We might be okay. A form both wretched oh my god. Time. That was uh, unexpected stress. I will say that for sure. Oh my god. My heart. Eruption. Right. Like I said, this group should be pretty well equipped. I'm hoping. Um, Arik is a, is sort of a, a newbie to the to the whole team. But I'm excited to, to work with him. Nice hit. Um, debuff with minus 20 dodge. You do have a lot of dodge, so let's let's actually do that now. Oh, no. Debuff resist. Fuck. There you go. Go for that. Nice. Set up that repost. And let's just start with the party healing. There you go. Crits are going to give us stress relief, but the bigger thing is we're going to get pro out of that, so... Confusion spores. We could get some stuns here. Okay, that's just a... Uh, do you know what? That rearranged us perfectly, so thank you for that. He actually rearranged us perfectly into our previous composition. Thank you. <laughs> that's hilarious. There you go. That was perfect. Uh, do us advance on you again. More bleed. And get that on you. Mark Prey, no thank you. Should be okay here though. Again, we go with this, get the healing. The crits are really what we're looking for to just reduce that stress. The more stress we can reduce the early, earlier the better, because we shouldn't have had it in the first place. The poison spores, but he will resist. Good. I said that trying to will it into existence and it actually worked. So let's go with one strike and we get a crit as well. And then let's uh, prowl back. Set up our stealth. Ready ourselves for our next attack. Another one of them. Yet another crit. Fantastic. This is a very, very good composition. We got we got a really good move set going on here. I'm very happy with this. Very happy with this indeed. That's gonna hurt, but we do have to repost. Yeah, that 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 did hurt. Don't worry about it too much though. I'm gonna say the blight didn't hit, so that's great. We did get some blight on sixth here, but he's gonna be okay. Um you aren't going to die, so we'll just go for that and get a kill. A nice one. Huge crit chance with that attack once we're stealthed. Um, yeah, we go for another attack on you. We go for a single target heal here. We need it. And then we go. For, we try, we'll try. we try and hold out this battle to get another heal. I'll try and hold out this battle. Because this, this guy isn't too much of a threat. He could cause disease. He can do escape cloud too. I forgot about that. That's a lot and a lot of blight on, uh, on sixth here. Let's uh, let's get get rid of some of that, shall we? Good, good. 
Prowl once more. Yeah, just get that AoE healing. There we go. We're happier to leave the fight now. Got some people to full health. Stress is being dealt with very quickly, actually. And there you go. Because the thing is, with with the another really strong thing about the last light trinket is you now have two chances for crits when healing, which means more stress relief. It's fantastic. Uh, and we can actually get rid of some stress here as well. We might as well do it right away. There you go. Honestly, that worked out pretty well for us. And as you can see with this composition, we, there's a lot of uh, damage here. But I'll kind of quickly go into why Sixth has such powerful crits. Um, because he has this here, which has extra accuracy while stealthed and damage while stealthed. This Prowl is going to put us into stealth. And then on top of that, he's getting speed, crit, and damage while stealthed. So he has high crit chance and high damage on that move whenever he uses it from stealth. Now... Admittedly, he isn't always going to be able to do that. He isn't always going to be able to open with that. Oh, we got a treasurer. Um, but still. Nice hit. No bleed, though. Still got the repurse activated, though. Very happy about that. Good thing about this guy, and this is the reason I brought him. He can hit the back, uh, the back enemy. We'll go for it, but we didn't get it. Nice hit. Really, one HP, you kidding me? Um, repurse, unfortunately, dodged there. That's okay. Yet again, let's see. There's a 13 repose. Very strong repose with that trinket here. Very happy to see. We'll get another group heal in here. Everyone's looking good. And yet another crit here. And we're already on zero stress on two people. That, that, that's very, very quick. We we'll grab that. A singular, strike. a singular strike. And we get that bleed on there as well. And we prowl back, ready to hit again. Cover me. He's going to up his dodge quite, quite a lot. Unlikely we'll get the kill, but I'm still going to go for it because Repost is going to kill these guys pretty easily, to be honest. So, we can go for it. And there you go. Look at that. Extra bit of uh, gold for us here. Very nice. And you should be getting close to dead now. Yeah, you are. Great. Shank is going to hurt. Indeed it did. Indeed it did. Wow. That was a that was a big shank. Blanket fire, yeah. Should kill you. We're going to go for the AoE heal here because everyone needs it. And then we'll go for a focused heal on you uh, afterwards, I think. We might not be able to get one here. We'll try and eke out one. Um, just do that. We do not want to summon this on the boss, by the way. It's a bad idea. I've heard. Fade. I can't remember what Fade does. Oh, it blights him. Okay. He's probably dead now. Thorn snap, yeah. He's probably dead. We might not get an extra turn here. We did! Yes! <laughs> that worked so well somehow. <laughs> yeah, apparently if you do anything that spawns things like that. Whoa! Interesting. We got the hat. Never had that before. Um, plus 25 dodge was hit, minus 10 dodge. Honestly, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, right, what debuffs have we got here? Ah, they're only round-based ones. We don't need to worry about that at all. But yeah, this is an interesting group. Um, of course, Dismas and Nil coming out um, into the wield and trying trying their might is uh, is definitely interesting. What the hell is... There's, there's two... No, three new enemies here. Well, two new enemies, but more units of one of them. I have no idea what these things are. Um, and same with that thing. I'm going to say... Let's kill them all as quickly as we can so that we don't have to find out. Luckily, we have the surprise here, so we should be able to get a little bit going on these guys. There's one of them gone. We'll set up repose. No idea what this guy does, but the fact that he starts stealth makes me think it's probably pretty bad. Call of the Wild. That's going to buff everyone's prop and blight skill chance. You're going to escape to buff your damage, crit, and dodge. Okay. There's some... There's some more difficult enemies here and this is what i mean when i was saying before about how we haven't really experienced the two the true pain until the level five and six dungeons that's uh that's some bad shit on there that's some bad stuff um yeah let's uh let's prowl back set that up that's a nice hit on you yeah we're gonna have to get rid of whatever's high so actually Neither of these are really worth it, but I'll get rid of one at least. Finish that guy up before he does that again, because that seems like a very, very difficult move for us to deal with. And we'll go for a targeted heal on you. Going to bring you near to full. That's going to hurt again. Ooh, there's the dodge. Got to remember, with Arik, he has such insanely high dodge 
that we should bet we should bet on him dodging most of the time. Okay, we go for the bear to prey kick. I'm just gonna finish you off with this. I love that plus 20 accuracy as well. It just very rarely misses. Go for a hit. That's a very, very low damage hit there. But we can set up repost here. Carry on bleeding this guy. And I think we go for a group heal this time. Everyone needs it. Good stuff. Oh, okay. When that's that's good. That's good. Went for him. Let's go with the uh, the counter. That's technically a one-use repost. That's very strong, so I'm happy with that. More bleed on you. Got to remember as well, something I didn't really speak about. We have Disarm here, which basically is a one-round use thing that's going to give us a massive debuff to accuracy, crit chance, and damage, which all in all isn't very powerful against a lot of units, especially the boss, but it's going to be... I don't know why I did that. I meant to use AoE there. It's going to be very, very useful against, um, against like, the Tree Smack guy uh, if we want to set up against him. The boss does have two moves, so it doesn't work as well against her, but I think that's okay. Okay, that was pretty good. You've got one more round of that on you. You should be fine. Let's check what's in the old tree here. Okay, we do have quite far to get before our boss. We do have to worry about that slightly. Another few battles up in front of us here too. And also, we do have the courtyard enemies that are going to be showing their face here and there. Uh, I'm sure we'll see a smattering of those guys along the way here. Uh, of course, Sixth is going to have the best trap to Sam here. He knows this place like the back of his hand. Hopefully, he knows every trap. I mean, some new ones could have been made and discovered, but we should be okay. Okay, we do have a ghoul. Ghoul isn't too bad. I think we try and get our damage off on this guy first, though. Because he can do some buffing stuff, which I don't really like. Let's get the prot going. Nice. Um, yeah, we get that on you. The ghoul's annoying for stress, but this guy can do this. Exactly what I was hoping he wouldn't do, and buff his damage and prop. I was hoping to get a kill before the uh, the deer did that, but we weren't quite fast enough. Luckily, that dodge there. Arik is... He's he's on the ball. The ground quakes. He is on the ball. But we sliver back into the uh, back line here and get ready to set up again. The targeting's coming in, but that doesn't matter. We even dodged it anyways, so... Oh, but you dodged us. Okay. Tip for tap, but there you go. You're gone. Now we just have to deal with this guy. He does have that buff, especially that pl plus twenty percent damage is going to be pretty bad. But this is a high, this is a pretty high dodge group to be honest. Uh, we should be able to dodge most of the attacks. I think what we'll do is as well just to just to help ourselves ease through this fight a little bit. Um, well, first of all, bear to prey onto this guy here. Um, I think we have a uh... yeah severe mood swings. Okay. There you go. A crit. I mean, of course, very heavily nerfed by that massive amount of prop that this guy has. That should be a dodge. Yes, indeed it is. 60 dodges a lot. Going for another swipe on you. And another one on you. Yeah, this prop's going to be a problem, but we can get through it. Slowly but surely chip away at it. We're going for a slice. Getting a lot of crits with Sixth, which is just fantastic to see. Not even for the damage, just for the stress relief. The stress relief from crits for, for us has been very, very good. This, uh, this, this adventure. A howl coming out there. That's that's a bit of stress that, that's unnecessary. And we got the worries as well, which I believe is flat out thirty percent extra stress. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with a lot of stress because we already have plus twenty percent there. We're going to be dealing with a lot of stress here, I think, which is definitely problematic. But, as, as I just said, we're dealing with stress reasonably well, so we might not we might not find it that hard to deal with. We'll see. We did find our secret room, which I, I can't remember the last time we found a secret room. It has, it has been some time, hasn't it? Um, It really has. Come on, six, can you do it? Of course you can. You know this You know this place. Of course you can do it. He's been studying. He's been working with, um, with our trap maker, Linus, actually. Um, uh, uh, crafting some sort of guide for each area for most of the new recruits. So when people are heading out here and we, we see that they're pretty good with the traps, even if they're brand new to the area, it's usually because they've gone through the course with their, with Linus and Sixth. I mean, I think I think also um, Sunasis has been helping out with that somewhat too. Um, she's pretty knowledgeable. She's been taking 
diligent notes every time she's been out, and she's been out to the courtyard in a pretty, pretty hefty boss fight. So she was uh, pretty important in that and got quite a lot of information on these guys. So hopefully the disease, our um, concoctions and disease resistance should be enough. Unfortunately, a stun on our healer there, which is definitely not what we want to see. This should kill you. Sadly not, but we did get the dodge, so that's okay. We'll finish you off. Sixth, you're going to pull back, right? Yes, you are. Good, good. Get that on you. A little bit of bleed. No. Okay. Hoping that we can get our healing in soon, because that was an unfortunate, unfortunate stun there. Gather the blood coming in. Arik didn't dodge, but he's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. Just keep saying it, and it'll be true. Nice hit. Just keep saying it, and it'll be true. Just keep saying it, and it'll be true. Oh, my God, Eric. Please, Eric. Please, Eric. Thank God. We all need healing. Let's just go for the party heal. Whew. I know it's left him low, but we needed that. My God. You've gone for the person with the repurse. That's a bad call. Let's set up our uh, our block here. We could have gone for a, a corpse blossom. But I think we're better off setting off the block. Okay, we're okay there. I uh, probably want to eat here a little bit. We don't have a ton of food, but I think it's probably worthwhile. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Content's mine. Good, good. Oh, a bit, bit scary. A bit scary, but we're okay. There's our secret room. Um, of course, Sick coming in again with the trap disarm. Very nice. Let's step into here and see what we get. I know that I could lower my light level, but I'm, I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'd rather just go for it. And we get ourselves some good stuff here. Um, we get ourselves three of these. And... Let's get rid of the holy water. Jew Chapestry. Very, very nice. Let's carry on forward. Push onwards. I'm going to keep all of my uh, bandages and stuff now. I think we need them. Okay, we're pretty much getting on for the boss now. Um, shovel this down. Definitely go for this because we could get some extra food from this. Yes, indeed we did. Very nice to see. And we will camp here, I think. Yeah, let's camp here. Okay, guys. Let's see. Everyone's everyone's doing well on stress. We've got remove disease, which we probably want to do actually, and remove disease on everyone else. So yeah, I think we I think we definitely go for that. Yeah, that that got rid of both of our diseases. So very very good for that. Um, extra damage on range skills isn't super important. Um, We've not got a lot of stuff here that's super, super useful, to be honest. One companion, extra accuracy and dodge. I think we definitely go for that on Dismas. Um, produce a Turtum. We could go for a Turtum, maybe. Let's go for a Turtum. Ah, minus 25 stress in corridors isn't exactly the greatest. But, hey her, let's rest. Not exactly the biggest benefits from that, but we did rid ourselves of some stress. And there's the boss there. We've got quite a few battles before the boss though. And the Talon army are after us still. Of course, Arik is followed by these guys constantly. Let's de-stealth you. There's going to be some hard hits here. This is going to be a hard fight. This is going to be a hard fight. Especially this guy. The big, the big dude can deal some damage. But we should be okay. I say that in the most hurtful way possible. That's a hefty bleed coming out there. Quickly finish off you. Stop you from being a nuisance. Okay. Oh, damn. That didn't actually activate the repost either, which is a shame. Oh, an insta-kill there. Very nice. And we can slip to the back as well. Like to see it. Thank you, Sick. Point blank shot. That's going to hurt. Indeed it is. And we get more of this on you. We stab, stab, stab. There's the repost as well. Got lots of bleed on everyone here. Everyone's kind of just bleeding. But AoE heals will prevent that from being too noticeable. 
This is not a good idea for you, dude. If we repost you, it's gonna it's gonna end badly. Okay. Go for another one of them. We could go for the double, but I'm more interested in setting up the stealth. Oh, wow. That was an unexpectedly brilliant crit. Success so clearly. Uh, let's quickly remove or some of that. Go like that. Trick of the light. On tag, on attack, hit debuff. Ooh, I like the idea of that a lot. Um, I will get rid of some emeralds for that. That sounds very useful. Um, everyone needs to be rearranged. Good. Little bit of bleed on everyone. Let's just continue forward. Ooh, we got a bag there. One second. Okay, now that we've uh, now that we've all done our bleeding, let's quickly just go boom boom, boom boom, boom and boom boom. But you still got one more bleed to go. Didn't realize. Okay, we are at. Oh no, we're not. This isn't the boss quite yet. We're one off the boss. Let's hope we can get through these next two fights pretty cleanly. This guy can be very difficult, but honestly, that is super useful. Getting the surprise on these guys is going to help us out a ton. Um. And I think just due to that, we probably should have gone for the one that was stealth, but just due to that, we're going to do this. Um, and again, we're just going to set up this for the prot, really. The prot is so valuable. That is brilliant. Great to see. There's a good chance we get to kill this guy before he gets a move off. Ah, no, not quite. But, ah, oh, unfortunate. Embrace the dark coming out. No repurse on that, unfortunately. That's just going to be some flat out stress. But this should give us a good repurse. Wow. That's a fantastic repose from Dismas there. The embodiment of Nil has made him strong. Very, very nice to see. We go for a cut on you. Unfortunately, no kill. In fact, you know what? I'm going for the kill. I know that we don't get the stealth this way, but that was very worthwhile to get that guy out before he spawned anything. Crits everywhere. It is Crit City. More Embrace the Dark. Nice dodge though, Eric. Well done. Again, Eric's dodge is so very high. <laughs> okay. That's going to hurt, but it's going to hurt you as well. You do have some pro- up. Oh, you're dead anyways. It's a matter. Slice this wench, this crone, right through the heart. And we might be able to go for the kill again here, actually. Yes, we can. Good. It's always worth doing that if you can, I think. Getting the double hits for the kill. And finish you off. Nice one. Great job, guys. It is... It is almost time. One more victory. one more battle, one more fight, and we're good to go. Let's see who we end up getting. Some more courtyard guys. This dude can definitely be problematic, but the rest of them I'm not too worried about. The stress is problematic, definitely, especially when the only target Barbara. Nice. That's not a kill, unfortunately. Oh, it is. It is good. Just about. Get that on you. Oh my god. They do not like Barbara. Barbara is getting all the stress right now. Everyone's fine. I mean, Sixth literally has zero, and Barbara's got 68. And there's the stun on Sixth, unfortunately. Nice stab through the heart. Good, good. No stress relief for Barbara there, though. We get the double. We might get some stress relief here. Nope. We do get a very big buff to our prot now. Coming in with the thirst here. No disease for sick though. He's fine. No crits quite yet from Dismas. We'll start, we'll start putting our damage on the big lad. Slowly. Jin. This our this life is taken. Our life is taken. Okay. That's good. Nice. Works out exactly as we'd want. I think we'll probably spawn a corpse blossom here if we get the chance. Uh, no, we're not going to get the chance. We will go for the swipe and, and return on you there. Bit more prop, bit more healing. Good, good. Okay, this guy can probably stun us one or two more times before we finish him, depending on how our crits go. Skew it. This is good. Yes. Perfect. And we got ourselves a Countess Invitation, which I don't think we have yet, so we should probably take. Um, right, let's um, let's quickly remove that. 
And then let's heal everyone up for food. And everyone's in the correct positions. I'm a little worried about Barbara's stress going into this. It's, it's a little higher than I'd like, honestly. But there's not much we can do about it. So let's uh, let's hop on in and see how this goes. Uh, of course, we're going to need to get people out of the, uh, the, the pot when necessary. But most of our damage is going to be focused on the, um, the hag herself. We should be okay here. I'm, I'm relatively confident we should be all right. That's a huge hit to start. Very nice. Um, I don't think we can stun her. No, there's, there's just no point. Let's just go for prop. I didn't think there'd be any point in trying to stun her, but into the pot goes sick. That is our worst one to be put in the pot, just because he has the lowest base HP. So we are going to have to focus entirely on removing from the pot, which does remove some of our damage capabilities, but it's not all too bad because we have high damage dealers and we can still set up repost, remember. And she does do some AOE attacks, so Meat Tenderizer here, obviously the classic. And a huge 25 crit repost. And the great thing is as well, whoever gets put in the pot, which will be sixth again, gets brought out in the front line so we can use sixth ability to get into the back line again. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff, just one turn in the pot. And this repost again, another crit for 25. We are seeing the repost being absolutely top tier here. And then that AoE heal comes in clutch. This is, this is great. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go for an attack. Arik actually with a miss there. That is surprising. Um, yeah, let's set up our post again because we need it going. And we got another 21 crit. We are destroying, destroying this woman. We just set up our post this time. Into the pot. Barbara. Okay, Barbara's the worst one to put in the pot. But as you've seen previously, getting, getting our friends out of the pot does not take too long. Nice repurse. She did heal on that, though. Okay, so... That's not a good hit. Arik, can you follow up with a good hit here? Barbara's, Barbara's cooking. Barbara's cooking. She's our only healer. Set up that. Barbara's cooking a lot. We need to get her out of there. This is gonna be bad. She's she is she is getting cooked. I don't actually know if we need to get her out of the pot before we kill the the wench. I don't think we do. Oh, really? We can't do anything with this dude from here. This is bad. She's gonna get cooked alive. I can't. Okay, we got her out. She is very low HP. Into the pot. Do we not block with Aegis? No, we do not. Okay. Go for the kill. He should fall out the pot, right? Good. Less people will be eaten. Wow, okay, we got it. We did it. That was difficult towards the end there. People were looking, people's health was looking bad, but ultimately we have prevailed with a slightly less likely team, but this team did do very, very well. Let's return to the Hamlet. And yeah, these people have done great. Sixth has completed his quest finally to kill the Hag Witch. She is fully fended off and dead. She's no longer driven back like before. She is actually dead. And Sixth is very, very pleased about that. My but we are here. Um, great let's quickly it remove our trinkets. And up. let's see what we got going on here in the stagecoach. Anyone new? Uh, Stargazer. No, we haven't had a new class in a while. We do have some new classes available. We haven't seen any in quite some time. Um, in terms of trinkets, we've not really got anything here we need. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Yet another great one, and I will see you guys in the next one.